So the way you capture one of these point clouds is you hire someone to do it for you. And you can do it yourself. Uh, for the time being, I am not, and I'll talk about that right now. But basically what you are looking for is a real estate photographer, someone who creates these virtual tours that you see all the time on Zillow or Redfin or the real estate websites. Uh, and so right off the bat, I mean, you can see this is a much better way of capturing a house than just the photos. So just this might be, you know, worth something to you. It certainly is to me because I always take hundreds of photos and I always miss something. So you see everything. But basically, once you have a scan like this, um, you have access to something called the Matterpack files, which you can then use to create the point cloud. Um, and your real estate photographer will definitely not know what you're talking about. So you're going to have to explain it to them. So that's what I'm sort of going to teach you about right now. So you can see once you have this scan, you've got the 3D, you know, you've got the images, you've got this little dollhouse thing. And this is all just the Matterport you know, sort of graphics. Matterport is the company that sells a bunch of cameras. They also have this software. Um, they can also create those marketing style floor plans. Um, and your photographer might try to sell you on those as well, but you don't need them. I'll show you everything you need. But basically, you have to make sure that they have this camera or better. So it's the Matterport Pro 2 3D. You can see it's about 3400 bucks. Um, sometimes it's on sale for around 3000 uh, and I've toyed with getting it myself, but for now I'm paying about $400 a house plus or minus, um, and I probably could get that for cheaper if I shopped around. But it's about $400 a house. I get it done for me, and so I don't have to buy the camera. I don't have to buy extra batteries. I don't have to subscribe to Matterport. There's a lot of additional costs associated with the camera, um, but it's you know it's something I've considered doing for the, for the moment. I haven't. In the past, you needed a much more expensive camera, like a, a $18 to $20,000 Leica or even more. Um, you could also potentially do it with a less expensive camera like these Ricoh Thetas that are also 360 degree cameras. Uh, but the Matterport Pro, they are claiming 1% accuracy and I've found um, my point clouds to be very accurate, I would say within an inch uh, over a 40 foot distance and that has as much to do with my modeling as it does the accuracy of the point cloud. So make sure you're finding someone that has a Pro 3D camera, that's what you need them to be capturing with. So they will go to the house, they will scan the house, you save however many hours of field measure time, you know, it takes them a couple hours to scan the house, but you don't have to be there. And at the end, they will send you a link to that virtual tour, um, which is good for the imagery. And what you need them to get for you is the Matterpack files. Um, and this costs about $50 from Matterpack, but it's basically a bunch of image files. And what you really need is this uh, OBJ, which is like a .xyz file, which has the point cloud information. And we're going to bring all of this stuff into Autodesk Recap, which I'll show you in the next video. So this is what you're looking to get. All right, note that with the Matterport Pro, it does not capture the exterior. So that's, that's one big con about doing this, and I'll talk about that when we get into the modeling. But the amount of information and accuracy you get from everything interior is sort of, it definitely makes it worth it. Uh, so you're looking for a real estate photographer who has a Matterport Pro 2 3D camera who can go get you one of those real estate tours and then they have to get the Matterpack files from Matterport. And like I said, I'm paying about $400 for all of this for the scan and the files.